Hello everybody, this is uh, R. Washington. This is the um, part six and the final uh, rant dealing with uh, my rent series communication. Now through, throughout this um, rent series, uh, I've been talking about um, communication. I've been talking about you know how important it is for you to actually communicate. Um, I've been um, telling you uh, also that um, um, communication it will most definitely will destroy any type of relationship where it is you know and you know just and just because in this brand I'm speaking about you know couples and stuff like that this uh, this thing it can go universal with any situation you know it could be this communication um, these things that I mentioned it could go you know communication with anybody you know with with a child you know with a boss it no matter and stuff on uh, this thing it can, it's universal as well but I'm just using it um, I'm just using it in this way because, you know, because most people could relate to relationships and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I was giving, I was telling you um, a whole lot of uh, obstacles that, that you need to avoid uh, with the communication. I was re revealing a whole lot of different uh, uh, obstacles as well so that you need to avoid and stuff in communication. So, with all that said, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to reiterate about it. Uh, if you want to learn more about it, uh, you know, you can go to the um uh, the other one parts of the rent and stuff in the song, you know, review it then and stuff. But today in this rant, in this final one, final one episode of this rant, um, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, guidelines and stuff about communicating. I'm going to talk about how can, uh, what, what would be some good, effective ways for you, for you to communicate, especially when you get real heated. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you get on uh, real heated and stuff like that, well, uh, what will be some uh, real good ways that you can do to try to uh, defuse the situation uh, for you to, uh, you know, to um, defuse it and what could be healthy and then it can, um, it can, and it can help someone, uh, you know, it could be resolved. It can help some resolution in, uh, in other words and stuff. So this technique that I want to uh, mention to you, it is known as bond, bond fighting. It's called bond fighting. Now, Bond, bond fighting, um, it, it means this. Bond fighting uh, is defined as the kind of fighting which brings people together rather than pushing them apart. Now, notice the term again, bond fighting. It's, uh, it's, it's the term, it's the kind of fighting which brings people together rather than pushing them apart. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, like, why in the world can, can you want uh, to fight? To bring yourself together, you know what I'm saying? Let me give you, give you an example about this. You know what I'm saying? Um, what would be a good? Oh, okay. Let's let's. I guess this is gonna be a current event, real quick. Okay, real current event, rent, real quick. Okay, we we know that that we've been dealing with a whole lot of stuff, dealing with racism and stuff like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know we uh, everybody been doing. You know the black life matter, white life matter. You know whatever. All life matters. You know whatever you talking about and stuff, right? Okay, so. Before all this happened and stuff, right, there was a whole lot of different separations and stuff. People was doing this, people was doing that, people was on one side, people was on the other side, whatever. But it took one event, one main event to happen to bring people together and stuff, you know, which um, dated back to when uh, Trayvon Martin, um, he, he was, um, he, when he got murdered and stuff, it brought it a whole community together. But first, the community, the community was divided. They were separated and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that was, you know, that was doing that, you know, doing that thing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is an example of bum fighting and stuff. In other words, you know what I'm saying? It's the kind of fighting that it brings, it actually brings people together. Regardless of your differences and stuff like that, it should be one key thing, one key factor that there'll be the whole nucleus of the whole relationship that will keep the relationship together. And that's what I'm talking about, about bond fighting. You'll fight to bring that bond together. In other words, you'll, you'll express different, you'll communicate different needs and different concerns and stuff like that. But it's not bringing you apart, but it's making you together. It's making you strong. It'll make the bond strong where, as you know, as the um, religious text says that, you know, uh, you be unity, you be one, you be as one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what bond fighting is. That's what it does. It's stuff um it brings you together. With bond fighting, what what it does is that um it teaches you to level with each other. Remember, I was telling you in the beginning of the series, I was telling you about level. You have to learn how to level. In other, in other words, you have to learn how to listen to one another. You have to listen to what they're saying and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? If they, you know, 
saying some things that, you know, you it's hurtful and stuff like that. You don't have to lash back at them and stuff, but instead, you have to practice being at calm and being at peace and learn how to diffuse the situation stuff. You know what I'm saying? Come at them with, with love. They come at you with, most of the time, people is not coming. When they have a situation with you, then most of the time, if they love you, they're not coming at you with hate. They're coming at you with hurt. And so, so if they're hurting, then uh, they want you to, to feel the same pain that they're feeling. And so, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a way that they're expressing themselves. You know what I'm saying? So you have to learn to, to discern that, to discern the difference between that and kind of level it out. And stuff so where, you know what I'm saying, you're communicating them effectively. And stuff, so, you know what I'm saying, where you where you bonded with them effectively. You listen to what they have to say and you want to understand what they're saying from their point of view and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um... Now, number one rule in communicating, and y'all probably need to take notes on this, the number one rule in communicating is this, avoid the attacking word of, of um, avoid, um, ugh, I'm all over the place. And so uh, avoid attacking the word um, I. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Avoid using you and why I'm all over the place. Avoid using the word. Uh, avoid using um the word you and why. In other words, now what I'm talking about about this is is this is that when you use the word you or why, I give you an example. You you say something in lines like you always be making me mad or you just be doing this and you this you that. Why you always doing that? I don't understand why you be acting this way. Why, why, why? You does this and that. Instead of you using that term you or why, you use the word I. In other words, you you say, say, look, look, honey, I feel like our communication isn't the way that it needs to be. What can I do to help build our communication? Notice how the way I use that, I. In other words, I'm not directing it to the person, but I'm directing it to myself. In other words, I'm humbling myself. Hear me what I'm saying? I'm humbling myself, in other words, for, for the one, for the greater good, which is uh, communication, in other words, where you're diffusing the situation. You, you just say, I. Like, what can I do? To help the situation, or what is it that I did that that wasn't disproven to you? Let me understand what. Let me understand that so I can fix it. You know what I'm saying? So so I can fix it, or we can fix it together. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you do it. And people they recognize I quicker than you. You know what I'm saying? When you say you, you and why is always an attacking word. You know what I'm saying? When you say you to somebody or why, it is always recognized as an attacking word, like you're attacking them. And, so, and that's why, like I tell you in other rants, they don't have no other, back, no other choice but to attack you back and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you have to do that. There also, this another thing and stuff too, um, with the guy like that talking about, about bum fighting and stuff is that you have to choose the correct time and place to do it. Don't be trying to have no bum fight while you're at the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to have a bum fight where the person's sick and you just decide to go go ham on them and stuff like that. No. Choose, be strategic in what you do. Choose the time wisely. Choose a time where you're not upset, you know what I'm saying, where you're not just highly pissed off, where you're more calm, that way you have a more sound mind, where you could actually go and talk to the person, and you actually deal with them directly, and deal with them, and let them know how the way you're feeling, and stuff, you know what I'm saying, and, and then, look, then also you want, you focus, if you are angry, or it's anger involved in it, you focus the, the, the anger not on the person, but you focus the anger on the situation. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the person feel that your whole anger is about this, you know, deal. But it's about the situation that they cause to happen and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like in other words, for example, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, you, you getting upset on. Um, you can even use this with children. You know what I'm saying? You upset at your child because you told your child not to get no ice cream. But he or she did it anyway. Instead of, instead of you attacking the child, you know what I'm saying, which I told you this was a form of displacement. Uh, instead of you attacking the child, what you do, you, you have to defuse that. 
and let the child know, hey, I'm dissatisfied in the decision that you made. You know what I'm saying? The decision that you made, it wasn't a correct decision at all. And stuff. And what you're doing, you created a teachable moment as well. And stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, you can ask for a specific change, but be open to compromise. Now, when you ask for a specific change, you got to be open to a compromise. You got to be open to willing to compromise with that person. You got to be willing to, you know, Step out there, you know, step out there on, on faith, you know what I'm saying? If you saying this, you you need to expect that the person is going to tell you something in compromise, you know what I'm saying, in return and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, you know what I'm saying? Then, um, yeah, um, so, so, um, then also be, be willing to change yourself, you know what I'm saying? Be willing to work on your own self, you know what I'm saying? Um, if it's an issue, you you work on your own self as well. Instead of, uh, as I say, you using that attack word, uh, you and why, you know what I'm saying? You, when you direct it to yourself, you put your own self in check. Well, you have no other choice but to work on yourself as well, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't try to win. Man, it ain't about winning all the time. You know what I'm saying? It is not about winning the argument. It's not trying to prove that you're right and she wrong. It's the same thing. Women, it's not about trying to prove the man that he's wrong. It's stuff, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about winning and stuff. You know what I'm saying? The greatest victories that you're going to have is that the greatest victory that you're going to have as a couple is that is that uh, you communicate effectively well and y'all y'all living it to the fullest Um uh, especially of your relationship that the Most High God wants y'all to be, and y'all growing old together and, you know, doing all that good stuff. That's a win right there versus trying to prove a point. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to win all the time. Uh, then remember, you know what I'm saying, to end the fight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though it's, I'm telling you it's a bomb fight, you have to end it too. In other words, they have to be a resolution. You know what I'm saying? Um, in other words, ideally the fight ends when the person has a mutual satisfaction Satisfaction, satisfactory about each other's point of views. When they, in other words, both person has a mutual understanding. They totally understand. They know the expectations. They know all these things. You know what I'm saying? They know what to expect in it. So my time is up on this rant. I hope that y'all want got um, as much information as possible about communication and stuff. Um, and I'll be posting other rants in the future. Um, on the body dealing with relationships and other issues as well and stuff. Until then, uh, like I always, fight faith with faith, y'all. God bless.